Waking up Southern Ontario, this is Morning Live. Looking for some ways to spice up your salads and still lose weight in the process. Brenda Bott from Salad Creations is back with some tasty tips. And you've got you've got uh, great locations, uh, Toronto, Mississauga, and Brampton, right? Yes, yes. And you're going to be at the CNE, you were telling me. Yes, yes. This summer we're so excited to be able to offer a healthy alternative at the CNE this year. We'll be in the food building. Okay, so not in the deep fried section. Yeah. Because <laughs> right? you're all about the healthy foods. So what yeah. have we got here to start out with? Uh, today we're going to make uh, part of our summer campaign, the Summer Flame. Okay. So we started with a bit of spring mix okay and we are going to put in some uh, roasted uh, some portobello mushrooms okay. right here just so put in put in the whole thing yeah or? just put in as much as you like okay. one of the things and then we have some asparagus mm -hmm. And is this asparagus, like if you're trying to make it at home, has this been blanched kind of thing? Uh, yes, and it? roasted. We roasted in oh, the stores, roast, just slightly oh. roasted. We don't blanch, Love we asparagus. actually just roast it as well. Okay. Some almonds. Yep. As little as, as much as you want. Uh, some roasted red peppers right here. Mm -hmm and some chicken and again we're watching at salad creations the low sodium this is a low sodium chicken now we've okay. introduced and obviously well. grilled chicken the grilled chicken yes okay. and then some goat cheese as well too Alrighty. and we just chop it up our guests can have it chopped or okay. tossed i'm we're gonna, gonna let you do this yes <laughs> yes there you go yes see i would have rolled it <laughs> again you just want to watch the water content because uh, you don't want to chop it all that many times, especially when it's a spring mix. And just a little tip for the viewers again, is you just want to do, initially when you do your salad dressing, you want to do that. Typically we look up at the guests and basically ask if they want more, okay. give it a toss, and then where we go. Because you don't okay? need it really drowning in dressing, right? No, absolutely not. You know, taste it, make sure, you know, you just want the flavor basically there as well. Another tip is basically when we serve it, we would just want to serve it on a smaller plate as opposed to the bigger plate that mm -hmm. I have there. Uh, it looks like you're getting a lot more sort of, I guess, bang for your buck or food or whatever right. else on it this plate It kind of teases like your this. brain into thinking that, oh, I've, I'm eating more than I, than yes. I really am, right? Yes. And that's kind of like one of the tips that you've, you've sent us in, one of the weight loss tips. Um, so, okay, so let's start out with clear out the clutter. So get rid of the junk food in your house, right? Absolutely, yeah. You know what? Just don't bring it in. Myself, I went through weight loss challenges myself. And you know what? Oh, don't have things that entice you in order to want to have those things that are just simply not good for you. You know, find things that you would like as an alternative that are good for you. Don't deprive yourself. If you have a favorite snack, then find a way to be able to have it healthy. Okay. Is what my suggestion Spices is. Spices are a big thing too with you, right? Like yeah. So that you're, you're bringing some flavor into food. Like popcorn, you know, you think, oh, it's got to be butter to yeah. have good taste, right? But put a lot of spices on popcorn and it tastes just as great. Absolutely. And you know what I do is sometimes I just get a little flavoring of white cheddar. I never put butter on the top of my mm -hmm. popcorn. If I ever have the craving for butter, I just used a lower, um, like uh, uh, some type of a, you know, something that's lower in fat than typically a butter, which you can find all kinds of different varieties if you do your research in the grocery store. Uh, spices, great way instead of adding sauces. Right, okay. And okay. what's the glass half empty or half full? Is it glass <laughs> sizes here? Is that what yeah, we're talking that, about? Yeah, that's basically what I brought here today. Typically, you know, for juices and things like that, perception that you're getting a lot more in a glass size mm -hmm. like this, uh, your wa like and and if in waters and things like that, you would typically want to use a glass this size as well. Just the perception that you're getting again more. Okay. You know, you're not depriving yourself. Yeah, because they've actually done studies that like show that the the fat little ones that are shorter, you don't think you're drinking as much, yeah. right? If it's if it's like pop or juice or yes. something like that. Yes. So. Absolutely, and that's basically one of the suggestions that I have as well, too. Okay, so you, we've talked already about using a smaller plate there. Turn off the TV when you're eating. Oh, that is such a... <laughs> That's you know, a dangerous yeah, one, right? And that's, that's a biggie there because, you know, we all tend to, to group around the family or the kitchen table now and sit and, you know, instead of talking to one another or even concentrating and You're enjoying the, the food, we're watching the TV, yeah. you know? So the thing is, is that that's one of the suggestions. Really eat and, and really savor. And you know what? If it's something not to your liking, why waste the calories on it? Exactly. You know, again, I keep saying don't deprive yourself. You know, if you want the hamburger, have a way to have that 
that, so it's a healthier alternative. It, and the possibilities with salads are absolutely endless, okay. especially with the summer holidays. Or another summer. one of your tips was uh, about coloring, and and this is another salad that's great. We got about a minute left here. Yeah. I want to make sure. We okay, make this we'll one go yet. through this one fairly quickly. Then this one's called the Beach Bunny. Okay, okay. and this is spinach in here. Yes, we're starting with spinach. Okay. Okay, we're going to put in iron. some. We're going to put in some um, mandarin, mandarin oranges. oranges, and this is great for the juice itself. Yes, because right? that really yeah, helps the so flavoring. Dressing. We're going to put in some mango. mango. Yeah. Again, we're talking portion size. Uh, we've really um, the mangoes are tried to <laughs> here. We can just grab it. Yeah, mangoes. There we go. Uh, some strawberries. Yep. I'm gonna put all the strawberries. In yeah, there I you go. Them. I so do I. Uh, some almonds. Mm -hmm. Some goat cheese. Oh, that's good for protein, right? Yes, yes. And again, just watch your portion sizes. Obviously, on fruits and things like that, you're not killing the calories with them as well, too. Again, we're going to give it a nice chop. Again, it's spinach. We don't want to chop it a lot. You know, we don't want to break down those strawberries too much. And what we're adding today, again, just like I mentioned, just do a swirl on the top like that, back mm -hmm. and forth like a zigzag S um, going back and forth. Give it a toss, and there we have the beach bunny. Oh, hope you get excellent. on the beach this summer with the salad. Okay, uh, saladcreations.ca is again the website, and thanks so much for coming in. You got great catering options uh, there as well. So yes, thanks for coming in. Some delicious food for thought here. Now we're heading back out to Lord Angeles.